Good morning. Do intros make or break your channel? That's the question of today. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, January 17th. And it's probably 8.30, 9 o'clock, somewhere in there. My son's alarm's going off, so if you hear that noise in the back. Um, yeah, so we're going to get up and go to work. And we're just going to explore today. Does the intro make or break the channel? Alright, I'm about to get dressed. I'll pick you back up. judgments yes it says lifestyle it says food fashion and travel that's what I'm you know the essence of what my channel is going to be about but I may teach you some tips on how to iron clothes um, clean with me videos how to travel smart you know budget friendly things you know I really just want to create a channel where I can talk to a camera and then upload, edit, and then share it with people who may be somewhat like me and then eventually get paid doing it. I mean, come on, I'm not going to get on here and pretend that that's not what the end goal is, the beginning, the middle, all of that. So, right now I'm just ironing my clothes. I love to thrift, so a lot of things that I wear are thrifted. I mean, of course, I probably will do some hauls of, you know, random stuff, but for the most part, I'm a thrifter. And my husband loves the thrift. My son, not so much, but you know, You know how these kids are. When they get older and spend their money, they be like, what? I could buy brand new clothes sometimes at the thrift store. Name brand clothing, okay? Gently loved, gently worn, whatever. So we're doing a monochromatic um, look today. So I've been doing a long sleeve channel, if you follow me on my Instagram, which you should be. I mean, I have it linked somewhere in the description box. I think that's what YouTubers say. <laughs> but anyhow, I just want things to go natural, like flow naturally. You can do whatever you want. You can follow, you can subscribe, you can comment, you can share. You can, these are options. These are optional, you know what I mean? But if we connect, then you know it'll just it'll just happen. So we'll wear some pink pants and this salmon colored cropped hoodie, I think it's gonna go maybe I don't know. It's a little off, but monochromatic means all one color or similar colors. But anyway. I will iron my pants. I really don't think I need to iron this hoodie. All right, I will in a minute. I'll be back. So I will say that in the beginning, I'm going to be open. I don't want to wait to the middle of my YouTube career and like let you guys in. You know what I mean? If my husband doesn't want to be on camera, I will um, 
accept that. Same thing goes with my son. Sisters, nieces and nephews, mom, dad, my um, relatives. I have to respect those individuals because I'm signing up to be, you know, sharing my life, not them. So, if they don't want to be on camera, we'll do that. When I'm discussing a situation that I've been through personally, I will do my darndest not to implicate that person in case they start watching me. But the situation is real, okay? We may have to change up or, you know, do a little tweaking. Um, but the situation is definitely real. I'm definitely going to have that element on my channel because I want real people to know that other real people who live next door to them have problems and issues and have to navigate through those issues and so if I can help someone navigate through a situation or a circumstance I want to be that I want to use my platform for that so I put on some moisturizer um Shenandoah Benefit actually this is a night cream why did I put a night cream on um but cream is cream and then this is a facial toner for normal to dry skin. Uh, Alfa Alafaya. Alafaya? Alafaya? This is from Natural Grocers, which may or may not be everywhere. But it also may be at Whole Foods, which is pretty much, I'm assuming, everywhere. So... Um, I'm glad to finish getting dressed, but I just wanted to come in here and I think I'm gonna put on some facial oil too. This facial oil is by EIR, so I think I'm gonna put on a little oil today. It's vegan. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop in really quickly. Um, I guess I should tell you what I do for a living. I am an entrepreneur. And I have been an Uber and a Lyft driver for almost six years. Um, DoorDash, Instacart, um, Uber Eats. And then I kind of do my own little drive thing. So if someone knows me personally, I will, you know, pick them up. Um, I don't anymore allow my Lyft driver, my Lyft customers and my Uber customers to request me personally because if you want a personal chauffeur service I'm gonna charge you like one but then I'm gonna hire someone to do the work if that makes sense I don't want to have to do the work like I will find someone to do the work and they get paid and I get a cut but I don't want to do the work so I haven't quite nailed that part down yet but under circumstances certain circumstances I will be a driver you know on a short term basis on a short term basis for someone that I know um, so I do do that on the side um, me and my dad have a cleaning business and then I also do Poshmark um, where I resell gently used items that I've thrifted I can't wear them or something that I see that, you know, is resellable that someone may be interested in. And I always have my Poshmark um, link below in the description box. So, yeah. My mirror's not in here. But anyway, I think I look good. Put some, put a little jewelry on. And uh, we are out the door here in just a short minute or two. Trying to decide what earrings I'm going to wear. But anyway, I just wanted to pop in and give you a little bit more insight about who you subscribe into. I'd like to call myself Organic because that's the name of my shop. And I do like to be in people's lives organically. So 
we can be organic best friends, you know. You could be my organic tribe, you know. You know, we'll see. We'll come up with something, but yeah. Think of me as your organic best friend, so. Because I like to keep it plain and simple, but speak my mind, speak the truth. Truth to power, <laughs> as some people will say. But, uh, yeah. All right, let me get. Let me the think. question of today was, does your intro make or break your video? Only you, organic best friend, can answer that question. Do you want to keep hearing, welcome back to my channel? Like, I mean, I want you to always feel welcomed. And do you need me to say, I do fashion, beauty, lifestyle. And if that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. Like, I mean, I think I should say it occasionally because new subscribers new people that sort of thing but every video if you guys want that comment below if i don't get any comments then i'll just do it occasionally we'll go with that i don't think it breaks my video because i don't want my intro my outro my middle my beginning my ending i don't want it to look like everybody else's i want to be organic that's why i'm your organic best friend bringing something different to the table not necessarily different because everybody does a lot of people don't do that a lot of people don't tell you hi welcome back to my channel i'm athena and if you stumbled across one of my videos you know, like, everybody doesn't do that. I know that. But I guess the majority of the people that I watch and I gravitate to, they do it. I'm not knocking them. I mean, I'm happy that they do an intro. But um, the, my name is in my video. Um, so, you know my name. Um, the, what I offer and deliver. Oh, another one. Is telling you what we're gonna do like if it's in the title that's what it's about I just I just don't feel that the intro the outro makes or break the video I don't even honestly think the thumbnail gets you more views I think you know, walking around your house in short pajamas and, you know, I don't know. I think that gets you videos. Like, everyone knows that body image, sex, um, you know, cleavage. We all know big lips. That gets you views. That makes or break your video. So, if that's something you're interested in, I guess you're just clicking off of this video because I don't feel comfortable. I love my body, but I don't feel comfortable sharing with you guys what my body looks like. And so I did take some outfit of the day video of uh, pictures. So I'm going to probably put that somewhere in here for you guys to see my outfit of the day um, because my husband is not feeling well. So I normally do my outfits in a full length mirror, but my husband's not feeling good. So I didn't want to, you know, go in the bedroom, turn all the lights on and the blinds and yada, 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 yada. So, um, Air Force Ones, I think these are the 85s. I'm not a sneaker head, but I saw these at the Salvation Army, picked them up just, just, just like that. Um, my pants are from bargain thrift and the top or the hoodie is from Dee Dee's um and it shows okay it shows I need to take a lint roller or the shaver and get all the little lint balls off of here but anyway car is warming up so that we can go Uber and Lyft we're gonna do eight hours I'm gonna try to do eight hours I always get to that last hour and 30 minutes and I'll be like, oh, 
it's dead, it's slow. So it's a little after 10 o'clock, so we're gonna go do that today. Um, I don't need to stop and do anything else, so I will just go ahead and uh, see if I'm gonna continue the vlog or not, if I have something to say. Sorry that the Cowboys lost. Being from Oklahoma, I probably will do a little bit of sports on my channel, not much, just, Sorry, Dallas. I'm so sorry. But next time, next time. Um, so anyway, yeah. Let me go get my um my child out of bed so he can go to work too, okay? But anyway, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Ah. Yes.